Hey everybody, um, I'm very excited to show you my chocolate 3D printer, so let's go. Uh, right now I'm calling it the Coco Press, as in chocolate and like a printing press. Um, and let me show you the design. So these wood looking pieces are in fact wood, and I will be laser cutting them at the robotics lab. Which is really fun, because you go from a two dimensional object like this to being able to hold a three-dimensional um, piece of wood in your hand that all interconnect just like your digital file here says that they'll interconnect. Um, let me show you some other things. These blue and orange pieces and a few other uh, various pieces in the printer will be 3D printed. So now I am using a 3D printer to build another 3D printer which is very cool and kind of mind-blowing that you can do that. Um, also, other cool features, I have an LCD screen here for um, controlling the printer while it's not plugged into a computer. You can load an SD card into the side of it with any files that you want to um, print, and you don't have to have a computer with you. So, what else? Um, here, I'll just explain how a 3D printer works. So, you have three axes, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. Here is the y-axis. Um, the chocolate comes out of the extruder here, and um, to move it around, you use this axis, this one which does not appear to be working right now and then the z-axis. So every time a layer of chocolate is deposited, the build plate moves down ever so slightly. So a layer is deposited, it moves down. Another layer is deposited, and it moves down again. And throughout um, the time that you're building it, you will have a fully three-dimensional object. Um, because this is chocolate and not plastic like most other 3D printers, I'm using this syringe right here. And this syringe is um, kind of like a comically oversized syringe. Um, then to push down on it, I am using this motor that will turn, pushing down on the top of the syringe, the plunger, I guess. And it, the motor will slide along with the plunger to push out the chocolate just like this. So, if you're following along at home, the chocolate is stored and heated in here um, and pushed out there on back onto the build plate right here. And so, basically, this is my chocolate 3D printer. Um, follow along on my blog and I hope to keep updating you and to eventually have each of you tasting a brilliant piece of chocolate in any shape that you want. Thanks.